Hi, this is Susanna Bowling with the Times Square Beat, and we are with one of my favorite singer actors, Josh Grissetti. Josh, it should have been you. It, where is that going? What are you doing with that? Uh, well, uh, it should have been me, uh, but uh, <laughs> it should have been me, and it was me. Um, uh, the show is still on Broadway right now, up until the end of next week. So if you see this between now and August 9th, uh, you can come. You can come over to see us at the Brooke Atkinson Theater. Um, and then after that, um, I imagine they will be licensing it to every regional theater that has ever existed because it's a unit set with a small ensemble of principal characters that I imagine everyone's going to want to do. So I imagine we'll be seeing a lot of regional productions of it. In now the I'm, years. I'm so excited because you guys did an album on this show. Yes, yes, the original Broadway cast album. That's like a bucket list thing for every musical theater actor, I think. So uh, I'm very excited about that. That comes out next week on the 14th of August, I think. Uh, it becomes available digitally. And then in mid-September, you can buy the hard copy album. Now, you're always getting compared to Ray Bolger. Yeah. However, you're vocally like Mario Alonso. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, Ray, I, I got a different voice from Ray, and I've got different feet from Ray. Ray was a tap dancer, and I am not. Um, but I got his face, for but sure. You no, know you move like him. And I do. I have the rubber limb kind of, you know, tall, gangly thing going on, um, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, uh, in fact... Um, one of his relatives, he never had children, but he uh, did have uh, some nieces. And one of, his, uh, one of his nieces sent me some of Ray's things because there had been so many reviews and things that compared the two of us. Um, so I have this great um, you know, vintage tie that was Ray's. I have a pair of cufflinks, some of his old uh, dance shoes. Like there's some and I take them very sacredly because I've always looked at him as, you know, uh, as an icon, which he is. Um, so I, I take that comparison in stride. Vocally, I mean, you have such an operatic voice that well, is. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can cheat it. I can cheat it. I, you know, well, with well, the song that I did today <laughs> uh, is a little more on the operatic side. Um, and I actually started an opera. I started training operatically and then quickly realized, oh, I've got this very bright sound that's very musical theatery. So uh, that's what I have relied. My career has mainly lived there. But I do like to dabble with this sort of. And it's a little put on, it's a little for fun, but, uh, uh, but I still enjoy doing it. <laughs> Now, what are you doing next? What's up ne next for you? Um, the first thing I'm doing is a fringe show um, called The Crack in the Ceiling. Uh, that's going on all during the month of August. And then I'm going to do my show at 54 Below on, on uh, September 23rd and 24th. Uh, while I'm in rehearsals for a show called Prince of Broadway, which is a, a review of how princes work. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, that we're taking over to Japan. So we're rehearsing here in New York, but then uh, in October we're going to go uh, to Japan and we're going to go to Tokyo and Osaka and, uh, and kind of play till the end of the year, and then I'll come back and spend the holidays with my family. So the rest of the year is all booked up, and I feel very excited about it um, with, you know, extravagant, uh, exotic travel. Uh, and so uh, it's going to be a good time. Can you talk a little bit about The Prince of Broadway? Yeah, I, uh, we have not even started rehearsals yet, so it's all very, it's an amazing company um, with amazing material. How had his hand in so many uh, iconic golden age of Broadway shows, um, all, ex almost all of Sondheim's material, um, and then huge shows like West Side Story and Phantom of the Opera and these huge things. I mean, um, so the material is, uh, 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 you can't compare it. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and uh, some of the stuff I get to do, I know, is, is going to be a blast. Um, and a little different. I do mainly comic stuff. And I'm going to have a little comic stuff to do there in the show, but uh, I also get to show off some of the other sides of me, which, uh, which is going to be um, which is going to be nice. Unfortunately, you have to be in Japan to see it. But, uh, you know, of course, everybody has hopes that it will come back in. And with Hal, with Hal and that cast and Susan Stroman direct, uh, co-directing and doing the choreography, I think... There is a chance that New York audiences may see it in the years ahead. I'm so jealous that Japan gets it first. I know, I know. Yeah. Now, talk a little bit about your show that you're doing at 54 Below. So, um, basically my show here, it's called Don't Bother, I'm Here, which if you're a Sondheim fan, you probably get the reference. Um, but it's uh, it's basically my, my journey from start to finish, from the time that I had the idea of, oh, I might like to be an actor, to uh, making a Broadway debut this year. So it's hot off the press, um, and it's telling all the highs and lows, um, uh, which is, I think, sort of the fun part of it. Sort of the inside look at a young character actor's brain as he goes through that journey, through song. Do you get to see any of the Aesop material? No, no. Aesop, you're referring to Aesop and Company, which was a, 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 a workshop thing that we did for a few years trying to get that off the ground. And I don't know where that is anymore, but it might still exist. But some really great material, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we lost one of our, our producers, dear man, Randall. But um, uh, but yeah, so the, none, none of that material, but a lot of stuff from shows I have done, uh, How to Succeed in Business that I did in Los Angeles, Enter Laughing, which I did here. Um, uh, 
Grease. Oh, I, I we almost put in something from Grease Paint, and we may still, if we have time, but we're having to scale back. We can only do you know a certain number of songs, uh, but if possible, there might be a little something from Grease Paint, and if not, we'll put it in the next one. And when is your show? Um, it is September 23rd and 24th. Here at well, we look forward to seeing you, and we look forward to following your career. Thank you very much. Thank you.